This is one that I like to use as kind of a very simple uh, example of where linking can come into play using things like hinges. And I think hinges were specifically called out for doing things like this. In particular for this, um, did Eric Olson do a talk last year that should be recorded? Um, he, so his stuff when he was dealing with Horde? No, his high lift stuff. Well, yeah, okay, yeah. So the, I don't know if he got into the details of how he wrote the advanced links um, for this one in particular, but the, it, Rob's right. There is a 2020 workshop presentation um, that Eric, Eric Olson did uh, regarding um, deployable high lift surfaces. But anyhow, so, you know, this isn't necessarily advanced links and um, there, there are things that you can do, but you'll notice that all of these are linked in rotate. Uh, so if I come to my user parameters, I've made one single parameter called a hinge fraction and I've linked that to every single one of these nested. So all of these hinges are attached to the parent and so on and so on. And you can deploy the entire system as effectively a fraction from zero to one. So when you're talking about putting together linkages or complex deployable kinematics, yes, you can do that. Um, it's just a matter of setting it up in a way that is uh, that makes sense. And so there's that. And then there is also, uh, heavens, let's go back to my VSP path. And I believe it's here. Yeah, so this is one I've always tried to get working and it's another one of these stupid VSP tricks. Don't ever try and do this um, because it, it really doesn't work that great. Um, but you'll notice that I've put together effectively a four bar linkage. And because you've got components that are going out and touching each other and coming out and trying to keep these tips in the same location. Um, in theory, you can write the equations so that it will point a vector to these places and, and it kind of sorts out. and. Um, yeah, I, I think I may have actually just done this with linear links too, but if you play around with this and you go slow enough, it will try and run itself as a linkage. So you can see that I'm, I'm not, uh, there we go. Let's give it some extra. So I can make this thing kind of move around, but you'll see that the tips don't really stay together the way that they need to. And it's just one of these weird examples that no, you should really never do it. And in practice you know, where would you ever use it? But it's it's an interesting thing that you can do with VSP that yes, there's a, certainly a, a more clever way of putting these points together and making a mechanism, um, but it's doable. So um, hopefully that gives a, a bit of an idea about, you know, using links in kind of interesting and novel ways. And advanced links, it's just math with semicolons, really. You add some variables. We've given demonstrations, uh, one of which is recorded last year about um, parameter links where Rob goes into how to drag and drop parameters in there and how to write it. So you can make it, you know, for whatever reason, you can make diameter a cosine function of some uh, user parameter or some something else. Or you can, um, you know, make your twist and your, your span linked in, in some, you know, weird way. Um, but encourage you to go back and watch some of the videos that we've done in the past about this uh, rather than, you know, beat it to death uh, in this one.